Sunshine Online is a huge digital literacy program with over 560 leveled ebooks and over a thousand interactive activities. The program can be used in all parts of the classroom literacy program as well as for home reading. Students and teachers can access Sunshine Online on computers, iPads, and interactive whiteboards and TVs. On an iPad, login is via the Sunshine Online app and on a computer, login is via the website. The program covers reading levels 1 to 30. It is divided into three learning spaces. Learning space 1 is for emergent level readers, levels 1 to 5. Learning space 2 is for early level readers, levels 6 to 15. And learning space 3 is for fluent level readers, level 16 to 30. Let's take a close look at Learning Space 1. The Alphabet eBooks feature 26 animated stories that focus on letter names and sounds. The title of this story is Letter Getter Loves S. See the sun. Read the words, then click on next. See the sunflower. See the lowercase s in sunflower? Read the words, then click on next. Each story is followed by three interactive activities to further explore the letter and reinforce learning. Here comes Letter Getter. Help Letter Getter get to the other side. Click on the word that begins with S. <coughs> Very good. Sausage begins with S. S. Osage. Sausage. <coughs> right on. Click on the word that begins with S. The high frequency words activities look at the first 48 essential words. Students first match the words, then identify them, and read them in the context of a simple sentence. Match the words A, uh, I, am. Click on the squares. Uh, I am am uh, I uh, uh, I I You made a picture Click on the word a uh. uh. Here is a tree Click on the word I. I. I am running. Click on the word am. Am. I am jumping. The literacy section features animated ebooks for levels 1 through to 5. The first reading of the text is fully supported with narration and text highlighting. The focus is on the text first and then the animation reinforces the text. The title of this story is Water Fun. Read the words, then click on the next button. I get my mask. I get my snorkel. I get my flippers. I get my beach ball. I get my boat. I get my towel. 
I love my bath. Now you can read the story for yourself. For help, click on a word. After the supported read, students can read the text for themselves at their own pace. They can click on any word to hear it again. Water. Fun. Each title is followed by interactive activities that focus on a range of related skills. In the literacy section, these skills include phonics, letters and their sounds, words and writing. Get. I get my click on a picture. Flippers. I get my flippers. I get my click on a picture. Boat. This activity focuses on the high frequency word get. In repeating the sentence structure from the story, it revisits the high frequency words I and my. I get my mask. Now it's your turn to write a story. Which word goes here? Click on it. I. Which word goes here? Click on it. Get. Which word goes here? My. Which word do you want to put here? Hippo. I get my hippo. Right. Another sentence. This Mighty Writer activity allows students to repeat and reconstruct the sentences that they read in the story. Learning Space 1 includes maths ebooks that introduce maths language and maths concepts within the context of fun stories. The title of this story is Counting Bananas. I can count fast, said the monkey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can count faster to ten, said the orangutan. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. I can count faster to twenty, said the gorilla. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. I don't feel well, said the gorilla. Counting makes me sick. <sighs> Well done. Now you can read the story yourself. For help, click on a word. Like the literacy ebooks, the first read is supported, and then the students can read the book themselves. These maths ebooks are perfect for a whole class focus on a large screen to tune into the maths topic at the start of a maths lesson. An overview of the maths skills covered can be found in the staff room. The interactive activities that follow these ebooks focus on the math skills introduced in the book. In this case, the activities explore counting in twos and doubles. Help number cruncher find the treasure. <coughs> Count in twos to help number cruncher cross the river. <coughs> Two. Now it's your turn. Click on every second rock to help number cruncher get across. Four, six, eight, ten. Uh-oh! Let's make a double bubble before the digits land in double bubble trouble, like this. One and one makes two. Yes! We did it. Now you try and make some double bubbles and save the digits. Click on the go button. One, 
and one makes two. Two and two makes four. Also in Learning Space One is the bookshelf, where students will find further e-books to read at levels one to five. Students can choose from fiction, non-fiction and rhymes. Let's have a look in Learning Space 2. The phonics focus is on letter blends and word families. The literacy and math sections and the bookshelf are still featured. The literacy ebooks in Learning Space 2 include a great selection of fiction and non-fiction titles, covering levels 6 to 15. Many of the non-fiction titles have been written specifically to meet the outcomes of the Australian Science Curriculum. A linking document can be found in the staff room. Which Habitat? Biological Science. Text by John Carr. There are many different habitats. The sloth lives in the rainforest. The rainforest is the sloth's habitat. Which habitat do kangaroos live in? Kangaroos live in grasslands. Which habitat do penguins live in? Penguins live in polar areas. Many of the non-fiction e-books feature embedded video clips to support and extend students' understanding. Multimodal texts like this one use several different modes of communication to help students make meaning. Written, visual and audio modes are used via video clips, narration, animation and text. All books in Learning Space 2 are followed by one or more interactive activities that focus on comprehension, vocabulary, fluency, spelling, grammar, punctuation and writing. The Letter Blends and Word Families books offer students opportunities to explore and develop awareness of the onsets and rhymes that make up these words. The title of this story is The Frog and the Dog. In this story, you will hear words from the Og word family. There are two in the title. Fr, Og, Frog, D, Og, Dog. The frog went for a jog. See the words with og in them. Click on one. Fr, og, frog is from the og word family. After each story, students can apply their knowledge through a word building game. Fantastic fridge magnets. Click here to play. Move the fridge magnets to make the og words. D. Og. Dog. Try to make five words in the best time. D. Og. Well done. D. Og. Dog. The math section features more animated math titles and related interactive activities. The title of this story is Great Granny's Birthday. Great Granny is a hundred. So we're going to bake. A special, big, enormous, huge birthday cake. We'll put on all the candles, one hundred of them. That's lots and lots of candles. <sighs> ten times ten. More than twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. 
More than 80. 90. Just 10 more will be plenty. <laughs> Happy birthday! We will shout 100 candles to blow out. Well done. Now you can read the story yourself. For help, click on a word. After the first supported read, students read the ebook on their own and complete the activities to reinforce the maths concept. In this case, counting by tens to 100. Click on the flashing buttons to feel the jelly bean space machines. 20 jelly beans. Fill her up. 10. 20. 30 jelly beans. Fill her up. 10. 20. 30. 60 jelly beans. Fill her up. Number Cruncher in Island Escape. Help Number Cruncher escape from the island with the secret codes. Oh no! Enter the missing number in the pattern to get Number Cruncher to the top of the cliff. Well done! You made it up the cliff. A chasm. Enter the missing number in the pattern to get across. Great work! Enter the missing numbers in the pattern to help Number Cruncher get down the slope. In the bookshelf, there is a wide selection of engaging fiction and non-fiction e-books for students to choose from. Many of these titles can support classroom inquiry units. Now let's look at Learning Space 3 for fluent level readers. Learning Space 3 includes Indigenous titles written to support the cross-curriculum priority that focuses on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures. These titles start with a dreaming story and the rest of the book explores some of the topics that come from the story. The Return of the Flowers There is narration if the student wants the text read to them. Information is presented in a range of different text types. Embedded video clips are also used in the e-books to extend student understanding. Literacy titles in Learning Space 3 feature beginning chapter books and continue through in the higher levels to more substantial texts of up to 64 pages. All titles continue to have voiceover support if students choose to hear the text read. Texts are followed by at least one interactive activity. Many are open-ended, allowing students to respond to the text in creative ways. This non-fiction text starts with a short video to introduce students to the topic. Tracking animals. Text by John Carr. You might think an animal tracker is someone who follows animal paw prints through a dense jungle. But an animal tracker is just as likely to be a scientist reading satellite data off a computer screen. Tiny electronic transmitters and satellite technology have allowed scientists to track the movements of animals and learn about their behaviour. Tracking animals not only looks at how this technology works, 
but it also tells the stories of some of the remarkable journeys that have been made by animals tracked in this way. This text has two open-ended writing activities and allows students to demonstrate their understanding of the text in different ways. Story Toolbox. Type your name and click Next. Create a new story. Have fun clicking on the buttons. Then drag items onto the board to make a picture. Type or write your story underneath the picture. Click Next to make another page or click Finish to view your story. Students can use the image galleries and drawing tools to create their illustration. They can also import their own images. Then they can write the related text. Students move on to the next page, or they can print and save their work. The math section features more maths titles and related interactive activities. And in the bookshelf, there is a further selection of fiction and non-fiction ebooks for students to choose from. Back at the home page, you can access the Discovering Asia section. These titles are for fluent readers, level 30 plus. These non-fiction texts start with a traditional story. The rest of the text explores a range of historical and contemporary topics that give insight into the culture of that country. Each text features a range of text types and there are embedded video clips throughout. The activities at the end of the yearbook are writing templates that allow students to create their own blog and poster about the country. Also on the home page is the staff room. This is where the teaching support materials for Sunshine Online are found. They include teaching notes, activity sheets, skills overview charts, Sunshine Online is an extensive digital resource that can be used for the whole class, small group and independent learning. The program can be used in the classroom on all interactive whiteboards and TVs for shared reading, or it can be used for guided reading on iPads. Students can use the program independently on iPads and computers at school and at home. We know that you and your students will love using Sunshine Online.